Hi and welcome to Colombia. I decided to ride a motorcycle from Colombia to Mexico. I don't really know how to ride a motorcycle. I also don't know how to shoot a good video, but we'll learn that all on the way. And I'm excited to take you with me on my trip. So let's go. Okay, let's check this out. We're going to drive up to the mountains. And from there we're going to Sonson. Sonson is a beautiful little village. It used to be a guerrilla war zone. But now things have changed. So let's see how we can get onto the street now. Without getting killed. Lots of motorcycles passing left and right. That's pretty normal for uh, Medellin, Colombia. Just mustn't, mustn't let them scare you away. So I'm not advanced enough yet to pass, pass all these cars and I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to stay behind them and enjoy the ride. Got many people working in the streets, trying to make some money to survive. tough life many people have here in South America and in Colombia trying to make a living by washing cars or selling anything actually in the street I'm just staying behind these cars I'm not going to risk anything here Wonderful. So we're riding through a touristy area of Medellin, El Poblado. Many restaurants, bars, a lot of action for young people and not so young people. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to ride through the, this neighborhood up the hill until we reach the real mountains of Medellin, Colombia. So, what, what do I do? Oh, pardon. Ah, fuck. Up, up, up. It's fascinating how many tall buildings they, uh, they build in these mountain slopes all the way up in the mountains. It fascinates me every time and how steep these hills are and yet full of traffic, full of cars, full of people walking by. There's a large truck in front of us. Yep. Ah. 
Ah, it's getting fresh. The higher we're climbing, the fresher it's getting. Enjoying the ride. Check out these huge skyscrapers. Tall buildings in the middle of nothing. In the middle of the mountains. It's beautiful. All right, it's getting steeper and steeper. So Sonzon has been the center of guerrilla activity in the past. It's a relaxed village today. Not many tourists go there. A good friend recommended me to check it out. And um, they operate an anti-landmine operation because there's still landmines in Son Son. So uh, they need to be deactivated and eliminated. It's beautiful to ride along here in the mountains of Medellin, Colombia. ¿Cuál? Esa. Morning. So that's a pretty common occurrence that people just uh, pass other cars or bikes in the middle of a curve and <laughs> it's a game of life and death if you don't see who's coming why would you overtake anyone in a curve luckily i saw the i saw it happening so i could react but there's a lot of craziness on these streets and a lot of beauty.
Hola, solo se cayó, pero no pasó nada. ¿Cómo? No, no, nada, nada, solo me, pa Ay, me paré y quería como... Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Uno, dos, tres. Ah, perfecto. Ay, Dios mío, tía. Sí. Me estás estrenando. Ah, no. <risa> ah. Okay, so so one hour into the ride, I, I already dropped my bike. I, uh, I stopped the bike and wanted to take a, a short break and it just tipped over. Thanks to my new friends that I made on the road. ¿Cómo te llamas? Carlos Andres. Carlos Andres and Sandra. And Sandra. Uh, they drove by and saw me standing here uh, uh, without a plan. <laughs> and they helped me to, to lift the bike. And um, Carlos and Sandra, they have a business, uh, ice cream business. They make their own ice cream with avocado. And the avocado is made freshly here in the hills. You see the avocado trees. And um, they invited me to an uh, avocado ice cream. Can you, can you believe it? So one hour into, into my ride, I already made new friends and I already have something wonderful to eat. Mm. Bueno. And uh, Carlos and Sandra, they're going to continue to Medellin, place that I came from, and I'm going to go to Sonzon, which is where they live. Bueno, <laughs> see you soon, bye bye. <laughs> All right, so that's a great example how to make friends uh, on the road. People are really helpful, and um, my bike was laying there for uh, a half a minute, and already they stopped, they helped me, and they invited me uh, to an ice cream. So, what else do you want? So we'll continue to Son Zone. It's just about a 15 minute ride. And um, I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm sitting here drinking coffee at my hotel. It's a beautiful, picturesque hotel um, with many antiques and uh, very decorative. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit where we are. 
So this is the view from from where I'm standing, and uh, you see this. This is the square, the main square of Sonzon. Sonzon. There's not much information about Sonzon. There you see the church. It's always very important in these uh, La Latin American uh, villages. Ah, uh, and there a guy selling something, and so. There's not much information about Sonson on the internet or online. Um, Sonson used to be a, a conflict zone, a guerrilla conflict zone, which now it's not anymore. Um, and it's just a beautiful little little place to stay. And over there you see the mountains. And that's where we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to ride those hills. We're going to ride those mountains. I'm excited to take you with me on our trip tomorrow and uh, see you around.